is Faith Friday here at ABC. So here today to share some messages of hope as we approach the anniversary of Hurricane Katrina and are left in the wake of Hurricane Laura is the senior pastor of Franklin Avenue Baptist Church in New Orleans, Pastor Fred Luther Jr. Welcome, Pastor. Thank you so much for being here today. It's an honor to be on program with you today. Thank you very much for the invitation. Okay, so it is hard to believe really that tomorrow marks the 15th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. And as Hurricane Laura swept through Louisiana yesterday, it triggered memories of many lives and homes lost back in 2005. Katrina even left your church flooded with over nine feet of water. How have you remained so resilient? It's been difficult, uh, but we came through a very difficult time. We didn't think that we were ever going to come back because of the devastation of Hurricane Katrina, but because of our faith, our trust, and our confidence in God, and because of the assistance of thousands of people who came to New Orleans from across the country, it really helped us out to get back upon our feet. And that's why whenever this is happening in other places, I try to let people know it's going to be all right. This too shall pass. There you go. It's going to be all right. And you lead a congregation of over 3,500 people. But of course, yes. with all of the limitations that COVID has brought, how have your congregants really been able to worship safely? Well, it's been tough because of the fact that we're so used to gathering together on a Sunday morning. But right now, because of COVID, we can only, by the mayor's mandate, have 250 people in the sanctuary. Of course, we live stream. We have thousands of people that watch on live stream. But they have in the service itself, the sanctuary, there are only 250 people. So people have to go online on Monday mornings by noon and register. Uh, to be a part of the next Sunday morning service. And it's worked out well for us. It's a fair way of getting everybody to come. Of course, some people don't want to come because of underlying conditions. They don't want to catch the COVID, and I do understand that. But those who want to come, they register, go online, and we have 250 people, which is a whole lot better than preaching the empty seats. I can now preach to 250 people in the, in the seats on Sunday mornings. There you go, finding a way to stay safe and still get that message out. And Pastor, what message do you want to leave our viewers with as we head into the weekend? Well, one of the things I just want to let people know that difficult times happen to all of us. I don't care whether it's a hurricane or a tornado or, or, or something happening in your city. It's always tough to deal with situations like that. It's something that none of us expect. It's something that never, none of us want to face. But the fact of the matter is we are resilient people. We are a resilient nation. And no matter what we deal with, no matter what we're going through, with the help of God and with the support of others, we'll make it through whatever we've gone through before. That's been proven in the past, and I have no doubt it's going to be proven again. That's why I was telling my pastor friends in the Lake Charles area, it's going to be all right. This too shall pass. And that perspective is so important. Pastor, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me.